A lot of doctors are screwing up how they manage blood pressure, especially in people with sleep apnea. And it can honestly cost someone's life and cause them to also lose a lot of quality of life because blood pressure medications, when they're not used properly, can make you feel tired and then, you know, just make the whole sleep apnea and sleep problem thing worse. Here's the issue. We're all told from the moment we have a blood pressure cuff on our arm, or maybe you mess around in CVS or some kind of place because, you know, you were too bored as a kid in the, in the drugstore. But you just know the correct blood pressure is 120 over 80. Anything higher than that is diabolical. You'll die in 30 minutes of a stroke and a heart attack. Not actually true, but what is true is obviously as you go above 140 as that top number known as systolic, as you go higher than that, yeah, your risk of different hypertensive issues like a stroke or a heart attack goes sky high. But here's the thing. When you have sleep problems and sleep apnea, especially sleep apnea, right? That is actually going to raise your blood pressure. But what happens, and this is just a fact of modern medicine, you come in, you have a high blood pressure, someone is not gonna ask how you sleep. And if they do, you got yourself a good doctor. But for everyone else, they're just gonna throw some blood pressure medications at you. Here you go, boop, just like that. But the thing is, sleep apnea will drive your blood pressure high. And then, this is where I hear a lot of this happening, as people are doing different things for sleep apnea, losing weight, breathing exercise, et cetera, their blood pressure normalizes, but then their doctors keep them on the blood pressure meds and they end up having lower blood pressure, which makes them tired, woozy, fall over and all that. So PSA, public service announcement, if this has resonated with you, you need to have that conversation with your doctor on the proper management of your blood pressure medications as you're improving your sleep and breathing at night. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.